your life should not be defined by the extras of your life. The story of your life is about the lead characters in the life. You, you're the lead character of your life. And if you got it, you know you are dedicated and you are allowed to write your own script. Hey, thank you, thank you. What's up friends and welcome to today's video. I don't know if this video is gonna be split up into two parts because I have no idea how long it's about to be, but it is Summer Smash weekend. If you don't know what Summer Smash is, it is an event that First Form, the supplement company that I use, um, holds every summer. Apparently this is their fourth year. I've been wanting to go for at least a year now, maybe two. So I decided to cross it off my bucket list and we're headed to St. Louis for the weekend to have some fun. So I figured I would show you kind of you know, vlog the whole trip and kind of what I'm doing right now to prepare anyway. Um, I have class here pretty soon. It's currently Wednesday, June 13th. I'm leaving tomorrow to go to St. Louis and I'll be there until Sunday. So basically, uh, after class, I'm going to go pick up food slash like snacks to bring along because I am reverse dieting. I have goals and the hotel has a mini fridge. So I figured, you know, we're going to stay on track and we're going to be prepared. So I'll show you when I get there. But first off, I just want to say I did my own nails. And I will say more often than not, I do my own nails because I like, I'm not from a wealthy family or anything. Like we just, that's just like pedicures and manicures and stuff are like treats. You know, I'm not, I don't like depend on somebody else to do that kind of stuff for me. So I just usually do my own nails. So just showed you my fingernails, also did my toes. In before weird foot comments, am I right? Uh, so anyway, did my nails. Um, I was gonna get a spray tan, but again, I just, you know, what's the point? Like that's just money I could spend elsewhere on something that I actually need. So yeah, that's the extent of my girling before I go to St. Louis. But um, I can't remember what I was gonna, there was something else. I don't know. I'll show you the snacks that I end up getting slash food after class. First off, I was looking for a diet Dr. Pepper and a little refrigerated thingy at Target because I was like, oh, I would like, I would like a cold one for the road, you know, but I couldn't find a diet Dr. Pepper. But what I did find might be my new obsession, freaking diet A&W. Okay, so zero calories, zero protein, zero fat, zero carbs, zero macros. My only thing was, oh, the caffeine, because it's already like 5 p.m. and I've been having trouble falling asleep at night, so I've been, I think it's because I've been making lattes in the afternoons, and so I'm like, dang, I don't need any more caffeine. It's caffeine-free, and it tastes just as good as the regular stuff, okay? And same holds true for Diet Dr. Pepper, whole, or tastes just the same as regular Dr. Pepper. I know that not all Diet Pops, yes, it's Pops. Um, are like that, but I can promise you I will not steer you wrong and Dr. Pepper and a &W, they kill it. And today's my half birthday, so I needed a little treat. So a &W, coming through. Okay, I'm going to show you what I picked up in terms of like snacks slash food for this weekend. So when I travel and like do stuff like this, I like to have solely protein sources, solely carb sources and fats. Like I have no trouble reaching my fats. Okay. I just like fatty food and like fun food usually has fat in it. So I don't worry too much about that. I might bring like one of my jars of legendary foods with me or something because just in case, but I doubt I will need any fat sources. So in terms of protein, I picked up a couple of these tuna packets. I really like the sweet and spicy flavor. And then I haven't had, actually I have had this before the hot buffalo style. I like both of these. So those are about 15 protein each. And then when I was in Colorado about a month ago, I found these. These are just little serving sizes of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Okay, so that means zero fat. Um, that was stupid. <laughs> of course it means zero fat. Um, 15 protein and six carb for each of these. So these are really good to have instead of like bringing, uh, instead of like bringing an entire tub of Greek yogurt, which I go through those like crazy, but these are good for on the road. Bring some jello pudding mix with you, fat-free, sugar-free to mix in and stir it up. It thickens it and it's a really good snack if you are low on protein. In terms of carb sources, I just picked up a couple uh, batches of rice cakes because I like these. They're easy. They're zero fat, seven carb, one protein. 
Um, how sad is it that I have that memorized? Um, these are just easy, okay? Like, I'm gonna bring some jasmine rice, too, that I will already have cooked, and I don't think I'm gonna have a problem hitting carbs while I'm there, um, but, you know, just in case you're in a bind, like, at the end of the night and you need just protein or just carbs, like I was talking about before, these are good for carbs. Also picked up some dry shampoo because I think I'm almost out of my can now, but every time I think that, I run out quicker than I expect, and so I gotta have one on deck. Also, if you're interested, Batiste, best dry shampoo ever. I get the dark, so it actually is colored, like it has like a color guard. So when you spray it on your scalp and in your hair, it hides gray hairs if you have them. I definitely have them. Um, and it makes your hair look thicker and fuller because it's tinting the skin on your scalp. So your scalp looks dark and it just looks like you have so much hair coming out of your head, which I do have a lot of hair, but it's it's fine, okay? It's not like thick or coarse, so I like what this does for me. Picked up a couple white monsters because I never drank these things and I figured for the road, road trip there and back, these might come in handy. And then I just picked up an assortment of these sparkling ice drinks. I freaking love these things. Almost every single flavor is amazing. Um, today I picked up peach nectarine, orange mango, strawberry lemonade, and black cherry. I will say out of these, black cherry is my favorite. I tend to lean toward cherry flavors and like strawberry flavors, like the reds. Um, but I also really like their cherry limeade. That's so good. And then if you watched one of my grocery hauls recently, you know I picked up a couple cases of this bubbly uh, sparkling water. I got mango and apple. The mango is okay. The apple is pretty good. And then I was like, okay, I'm over these things. But I found these cherry ones. And so I had to get them because like I just said, I always lean toward the cherry flavors. So that's what we got going on for now. I'm gonna put this stuff away, um, kind of start packing. I'm gonna be packing tonight. So if I think I have any useful information, I'll show you what I packed. But otherwise, I'm gonna make dinner and just get my shit together tonight. So I'm Ready to go tomorrow, and I will catch you in the next clip. We got the Sarah. She'll be vlogging this weekend, too. We're out. See you in St. Louis. <coughs> oh, my God. Current state. Oh, my God. It is now 719. We've made it to St. Louis. We have officially blubbered like idiots, by which I mean I have blubbered like an idiot through this entire hotel. Oh Sarah just jacked herself with the uh, Fuck you fridge. Too, fridge. We're just trying to be fit bitches. And I, life is just confusing and overwhelming and we're hangry. So you know what? There's the update. We have made it. I don't even, I don't even know. Okay, I just, I need food now. I cannot function. Okay, we have been revived because we ate dinner. We just got ready and I had to come in the bathroom because the lighting is on fleek, as you can see. But we going out tonight and yo girl hasn't been out in, I can't even remember the last time I went out. I didn't even go out for New Year's this year. So at least more than six months. So we're gonna see who we can meet, what kind of trouble we can get into, and uh, we will catch you tomorrow. finished up working out at the old Fit City Gym back there. It was a good time. It was not too, too crowded. 
No, the second heat was actually not bad. But I think it's because, you know, all these athletes and shit, they like to come in the morning, get their shit done, which like I get it, but it was kind of nice to sleep in a little bit too. And then we got some breakfast, put it to work. Anyways, it was a good workout, feel good, did, did some cardio. So now we're off to like, oh no, we gotta go check in right now. But then we're gonna shower and get ready for the day and stuff. So I'll catch you in the next clip. Okay, we just got back to the hotel from checking in and grabbing lunch and everything. And I just gotta say, all the gear that First Form gave us for Summer Smash has me so freaking hyped. Obviously, I'm gonna show you guys. So here we go. First thing, can we just talk about the bag? They give you a Velcro thing with your name on it. My last name is Ebling. And so you can take off the I am first form one and put your name on it. Like, yes, that's so cool. Okay, and then we have a side thing here. So we've got a side pocket with a nice water bottle. It's got a blender ball in there. Very nice, says Summer Smash on it. We've got a compartment down here, a little zipper. You open this bad boy, got some more space, got some sunglasses that say, I am first form, or they say, uh, first form. You open this bad boy. More, more room to put anything you need. Another zipper. These are like really nice bags. New gym bag for sure. Gonna feel like a sponsored athlete. All right, here's the good stuff. So we've got a first form shirt. The back of it is exclusive to Summer Smash. Very cool. We've got a couple koozies here. We got a first form selfie stick. They gave us sunscreen with like a little chapstick in it. it says Summer Smash all over it. That's awesome. A first form pop socket. We got all these cups. Summer colors, those are fun. I actually don't have any plastic cups in my apartment, so <laughs> that will be nice. They gave out Remedy, which if you don't know, this is basically like their hangover product. It's not going to keep you from getting a hangover completely, but it's supposed to help the day after a few drinks, so that's perfect for this weekend. They gave us a full-size Megawatt. This is pre-workout, and it's specific. Uh, it's, a, it's a specific flavor for Summer Smash, red, white, and boom. How cool is that, right? Freaking awesome. I've always wanted to try their Megawatt. And a full-size Formula One protein summer smash splash. How cute, right? So this is their fast digesting protein for post-workout. Super excited to try that. And then there's room for your, uh, you know, whatever else you want to put in there. As well as this huge compartment in the back that you can put your computer in. There's so many compartments in this bag. This is so nice. So yeah. There's that whole bag. And then they also gave us this kind of drawstring bag. It's got a little first form there on the bottom with a full size first form towel. Like what? That's huge. I'm not gonna unroll the whole thing cause I wanna use it tomorrow, but dang. So yeah, I'm freaking hyped just for all that shit. This is awesome. I'm super excited. We're gonna shower now, get ready for the event tonight, which is gonna be like a, there's a Cardinals Cubs game tonight. So we're gonna, go to like Ballpark Village downtown, which is actually like a couple blocks away from where we're staying and hang out there. And so that's what we're doing for now. Night two, we're back in the bathroom fleek. Okay, we're about to go to Ballpark Village, which is right next to where we're staying, like I mentioned earlier. So we are ready now. It is 646, apparently the Cardinals are playing the Cubs. I'm a very neutral party here, so I don't know what I'm gonna do when things happen in this game, but that's what we're gonna do here is my outfit. So this is actually a one piece suit, like a, a swimsuit from Aerie and I'm using it as a bodysuit. It's like super cheeky. Um, and here is what the back looks like. So it comes down super low and then I have a bralette from pink. And then these high-waisted denim shorts, I got the first time I went to LA and I freaking love them. But right now, since I just finished cutting, they're a little, they're a little loose, so. Ideally, I would have a belt, but you know what? We're gonna be okay. Also, I would just like to say, I don't realize how long my hair is until I do something to it. And I'm like, holy shit, like, it's almost down to my freaking waist. So, we're gonna roll out now. I'll probably catch you tomorrow. Buenos dias, y'all. The day has come. 
for us to lose our mud run virginity. And I am low key so terrified. But you know what? It's okay. Apparently it's a 5K, and I thought people were just lying to me when they said that. I thought they just made that up. But um, turns out that's true. Also turns out this mud run is an hour away, so we just fueled up with a little bit of room service. <laughs> so I'm feeling good. It's early in the morning right now. I don't. I can't wear my Apple Watch, so I don't have time. It's 6:47, and we're about to roll out. So <sighs> send me all the good vibes. Obviously, when you're watching this, I hopefully I've already survived. But um, I will I will give you updates in the next clip. <laughs> okay, we've officially survived the mud run. It was fun. It was great. I have no complaints, except that at the very end we had to do a bunch of stuff that like required really st strong grip strength and like my fingers and hands are destroyed. But I almost made it to the end without falling in. So you know what? Life is good. I feel accomplished. I feel like a badass athlete. Sarah. How do you feel? I feel amazing. I think uh, the thing we were the most freaked out about was the 25 foot jump and we both rocked that. Yeah. So, fuck yeah. We didn't chicken out of anything. So right now we're very dehydrated, a little, little depleted. I mean, I ate a lot this morning, so I'm not really like hungry. I'm just, I'm just thirsty. I'm a thirsty girl right now. So we're gonna, we're like an hour away from the hotel right now. So we're gonna head back and get ready for Summer Smash this afternoon. Okay, let me just give you a little update. It has been, some time since we did the mud run this morning. The last time you saw me, I thought I was alive and well. And then I got really sick. And it turns out, I think I had a freaking, or I was suffering from heat exhaustion. So that was lovely. Sarah was like sick this morning and I was like really sick this <laughs> afternoon. Like I don't think I've been like felt that sick in so long and I get super scared when that happens. Like I can like set myself into a panic attack so fast. So. I took my nausea medicine and we just worked through it, you know, we relaxed, so we're still not 100%, so I'm at Chipotle trying to fuel up and make things happen. I'm, you know, we're going to be alright, but we're going to be smart, keep up with our water, we're definitely not drinking, we're going to try to stay in the shade. I know, like, any other day, I would not even be back out in the heat, I would stay in for the night, but literally today is Summer Smash, that's what I came here for, and I want to see people and, you know, enjoy it, so... Send me the good vibes, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we're over the hump. With the heat, man, I swear I'm never missing. And I'm still the same, and I swear I'm never switching. Knowing all that is, it just don't make a difference. I'm just stuck in the loop, so I'm one that is. should not be defined by the extras of your life. The story of your life is about the lead characters in the life. You, you're the lead character of your life and if you got it, you know you are dedicated and you are allowed to write your own script. And at any given time, including today, you could turn a page and start writing a whole new chapter. Because you're the author, you and God are the author of the book of your life. You could leave here today being stronger, more confident, more believing, nicer, kinder, richer, anything you want. In life, we just turn the page and we start writing new chapters as we're the author. Not enough people know that. And if you'd stop worrying about what cab driver number two thinks, you'd have a lot more peace and you'd be achieving a lot more of your destiny. Amen, yes or no? I don't know I'm saying amen, I'm really not trying to preach at you. Right? And so I want you to focus on the lead character, because at the end of your life, someone reads the book. Someone reads the book. She said she really liked me. She doing things to excite me. She said she's 
Okay guys, I know this lighting is atrocious. It's literally like 11.15. We're back home for the night from Summer Smash and I cannot tell you how awesome this experience was. Like, if you've been, then you know. And if you've seen it on Instagram or social media and you are interested in it, then I know that you've watched this far in the video and I know that you will find this review helpful and important. I'm not gonna make, like, name this a review or anything, but um, I do feel like it's important to share my thoughts because, you know, you always hear people say like, oh, I went to this thing and it was awesome, like, I loved it. But I'm, I like, words are so hard right now because it was just so incredible. Like, everything, you can take everything I'm saying right now and that I'm about to say as cliche, but I promise you, I'm, like, speaking from the heart. Like, I have never had so many feels about first form. Like, obviously, I've always been, like, down for first form. You know, I've only used their products for at least a couple of years now. I found them, I aligned with them, and, like, I just know, like, this is a company that I stand for and I don't ever want to use anyone else because I don't know how they did it, but the culture that they have created is unreal. Like everyone is just so easy to talk to and so nice and approachable. Like, you know, those athletes and legionnaires and affiliates, or even people that were just attendees like me, you know, I'm not affiliated with first form in any way, but like, Wow, like they just made us feel so welcome. Do you know what I mean? Like accepted and like that's my bottom line always. I always say that. It's like I want to surround myself with people who like think the same way I do. You know, like they get it. Like they want the same things for themselves and like always want to keep growing and never stay stagnant. And I don't know. I could ramble on that on that for a long time and I know this video is probably already pretty long, but I just wanted to say like this was incredible, and if you're ever thinking about going, you need to go. Like, this needs to be on your bucket list so hard because we got there, and obviously Andy is an amazing speaker. Like, if you listen to his podcast, you know, but Ed Milet was there, and I've never, like, listened to Ed Milet. Only The only time I've listened to him is, like, on Andy's stuff, and he gave, like, the most incredibly motivating speech like unreal brought me to tears like I'm not even kidding you I had tears in my eyes that's how like hard-hitting it was and it just made me realize like <sighs> I want to keep going I want bigger things for myself I want to make a difference I want to make an impact like life is too short to take things too seriously you know what I mean and he just both of their speeches were just unreal incredible like I just I, I cried like multiple times and I don't care how stupid that sounds like I I don't care because that's what happened and like that's how I felt you know I felt that shit in my heart and I shit you not I um I like tagged Ed Milet in my story like just a quick video of him and I captioned it like Ed Milet giving all the feels and he just messaged me on Instagram and said thank you for that um that he appreciates it you know and I was like Oh my God, like somebody with as big of a following as him that takes time out of his day to speak, out of his day to meet us, shake our hands and take photos afterwards, and then at night go through his Instagram DMs and mentions and respond to us and say that and like personally thank us, that speaks volumes to me. Like those are the kind of people that I want to connect with. He was so genuine and so everyone, everyone was so genuine and so real, like I just, that's all I can say about it. Like, there's nothing more I can tell you besides, like, this event exceeded all my expectations. Like, I knew it was going to be dope. And I knew, like, I had high expectations. I was like, people say this is awesome. Like, it's first form. It's people who get me. Like, I get, th like, everybody's on the same page. I know it's going to be awesome. But it was just even that much better than, like, I could have ever expected. So even though I got, like, super sick today, I went there tonight and I, I almost left early and one of my friends that I met on social media and now we're now we've met in person at Summer Smash, he's affiliated with First Form. He was like, You are not leaving early. He's like, Take 
go drink water, go sit down. He like got me some BCAAs and some pre workout so I would go out to the dance floor at the end. And like, it, it just, I don't, I don't know. It's just so nice to be surrounded by people who get it because like, if you've been following me on Instagram, and I, I don't know if I ever said this on YouTube, but when I was on prep last year, I felt like I was living a double life and it was shitty. Like the people in my real, in real life, like didn't get me, like didn't know who I was and what I was doing. And like the only people that got me were like my Instagram people and like you guys, my YouTube people. And it was so exhausting, like just trying to live a double life. And the reason that I created the Instagram was to connect with people who got it. And then, you know, life's a little bit easier when like people, you connect with people who think the same way you do and they want the same things and they want you to succeed and they want everybody to succeed. Like we just, we all lift each other up. And I, again, I'm not affiliated like at all with first form. A lot of people think I am, which I love because that means I'm like organically sharing their products and you know, people think I'm affiliated. Um, which by the way, someday I will be. Um, but I just feel like a part of it. You know, like, I feel like it's the, the whole family concept. It's fucking real, dude. So I don't know. I'm going to wrap this talk up here because I know it's like late and I'm super depleted. Like I got the noodle arms going on. Like I, I don't, my body is all out of whack right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop now, but I, I know I didn't vlog like a ton of this trip, but that's honestly because like I prioritize events like this, like living in the moment. And I think you should too, you know, first form will put out a ton of content. You can see everything that went down on their, on their Instagram account. Um, and I'm sure their YouTube channel, but I just want to say like all in all, I, I, there are no words to express how fucking dope this was. So I, I'm leaving with a full heart. I'm leaving with a fire lit under my ass. I am motivated as shit. And I, I love where I'm at right now. Like I am so, like so unreal happy with my life. Like I've got so many big things like planned and coming. You know, I'm going to graduate law school and everything, but just with all like the fitness stuff and what I want to be doing on like aside from just school, I'm just, I just love what, like where I'm at right now. But that doesn't mean I want to stay here. You know, I always want to get better. I always say that. And I know I've said it a few times in this video, but I know y'all are also going to bear with me because you know I'm depleted and like sick. <laughs> so that's all. I'm going to, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I know. So as always, if you watched until now, I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. That would be dope. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys. I just wanna go fast, more on my team and on my